The drive bell links the motor to the cutter head on your planer. The belt is made of a reinforced neoprene material. Over time, the belt can wear or break. A worn belt might squill or give off a burning smell. If the belt breaks, the motor will run, but the cutter head won't rotate. Replacing the belt is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soka. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the side cover from the planer. Now remove the belt cover. Next I'll remove the chip deflector. You'll want to be careful with the chip deflector removed because now the knives are exposed. Next I'll loosen the belt tensioning bolt. To remove the old belt, I'll need to rotate the pulleys and slowly work the belt off of them. The pulley can be difficult to rotate by hand, so I'll use a small adjustable wrench on the cutter head pulley nut to rotate the pulleys back and forth. As I rotate the pulleys, I'll pull on the belt and slowly work it off of each pulley. With the belt free of the pulley, I can remove it from the planer. Now I can install the new belt. I'll feed it through the frame and around the upper pulley. Again, I'll leave about half of the belt off of the upper pulley. I'll put about half of the belt onto the lower pulley and then rotate the pulley around with the wrench. Once the belt is in place on both pulleys, I'll again work it onto the pulleys the rest of the way by pushing on the belt and rotating the lower pulley. With the belt reinstalled, now I'll use a large screwdriver as a lever. I'll place the screwdriver between the frame and the motor and pry the motor upward just slightly to tension the belt. At the same time, I'll re-secure the belt tensioning screw. Now reinstall the belt guard. Next, I'll reinstall the side cover. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the chip deflector.
And that's how you can install a new drive belt on your planer. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.